know how gut-wrenching it can be to say goodbye to your family, dog, or cat. Some find solace in getting their pet's ashes back from the vet, but are those ashes really your pets? Let's bring in NBC Bay Area's Peggy Bunker with some... I've had to go through this recently. I know, you and me both, Raj, and it was not easy. I know we are not alone in that. Pets are family. It's heartbreaking having to put them down. Most people would be surprised to learn that the ashes they get back from the vet likely are not their pets, but a blend of many animals. That's unless you're going to one Bay Area crematorium. It offers owners the chance to have just their pet, even if it's a horse, cremated alone. It's a beautiful, peaceful place, but it's also a garden of grief. It's grassy green hillsides watered with decades of tears from grieving families who bring their beloved pets here when they die. I came up, I came down here, and I looked around, and it just felt like the right thing to do. James Roberts owns Monterey Bay Left Pet, where they do what almost no one else will, let you stay for your pet's cremation so you know you're getting your pet's ashes back. Typically, when a pet dies at the vet, they're cremated in a group with other pets. And the ashes the owners get back are a mix of that group. Here, owners can cremate just their pet, and if they want, can witness this final step. Some people want to uh, be involved. Some people don't even want to come back here. After recognizing a huge equestrian need, they upgraded their building to become the Bay Area's only crematorium that can take an entire horse as is. While we were there, a distraught owner put down her horse she'd had for 30 years. Well, most horse owners, um, they care. Some of them, the, the horses are older than the, than the owners, or they, the horses are older than their kids, and they're their best friend. Jim Roberts was a successful commercial real estate broker in Santa Cruz when he got a listing for a foreclosed pet cemetery in Prunedale. He looked for two years to find a buyer until he finally got one. Yeah, me. You bought it. Yeah, it uh, was a surprise to me too. His employees will tell you it's not an easy business. We do have people who are just out of their minds with grief, and those ones are a little bit more difficult. But the staff understands their customers' grief. Just ask Roberts about his own dog, Gus. I got his parents. <laughs> Sorry. And their parents. I've got three generations of this little Jack Russell. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Even he can't think about it. Now, Monterey Bay Love Pet does do group cremations as well, but they're the only place in the Bay Area that will let you actually attend your pet's cremation. They say it's very sad work, but it's also rewarding because people get to say goodbye exactly the way they want to. It's never easy, Jess. No, it is not, but it will bring some people some solace. Thank you, Becky.